Sup. We're gonna find the remaining deity idol fragments because I'm not afraid of no ghost. Or dark god, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Fuck him. Also, let's see if this bracelet actually does anything other than add to the growing list of invisible accessories our character is wearing at all times. I mean, Diverman's got a dolphin medal, a hella lame shark tooth necklace, and now the Goron's bracelet. Mythologically, it's supposed to be for talking to dolphins or whatever. But given how dialogue works in the game, I don't think it's a big surprise that we won't actually be talking to dolphins with this bracelet. I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but... Just how it is. Of course, this all does mean that we are, once again, back here at the underwater ruins of Moya Atoll. Which are big and dull, and there's really no getting around it. In both ways you could take that phrase, really. Turtle, turtle. At night, the bottlenose dolphins seem to come inside for some reason. Also, they multiply in number. I'm not sure what's up with that. Another idol fragment. Fuck you, demon dad. Also, another bannerfish, I believe? Yes, the singular bannerfish. Not really much you can say about bannerfish. It's, it's a pretty typical-esque tropical fish. You know. It's a fish. It resides in the tropics. It's got neat colors. As they all do. There's some Atlantic Tarpon in here, though. Before you call shenanigans on the Tarpon being here, it should be known that they do, in fact, appear in the Pacific Ocean. They rather, oddly enough, use the Panama Canal as a way to migrate into and out of the Pacific Ocean. Which is a bit strange, but fish are a strange lot when you get down to it. It's thought that they don't actually spawn when they're in the Pacific, and thus move back to the Atlantic for spawning purposes, but we're really not sure. It's, it's unconfirmed right now. At least as I understand it. Another tarpon fact is that tarpons are capable of inflating their swim bladder with air, forming something of a rudimentary lung. I'm not sure why they do that. Party trick? Perhaps? Really, in a world where sharks explode to attract mates, nothing surprises me. Looks like we have another pufferfish here. The Black Spotted Puffer. Black Spotted Puffers are members of the genus Arathon, also known as the Fat Puffers. They're often kept as aquarium fish, and I think they're rather cute, actually. They've got kind of biggish eyes. And they can even blink. Which is kind of neat. That looks like some sort of cornet fish. Which are pretty common in tropical waters. Cornet fish are pretty weird. They have very long body types. But I think they're cool. In Japan, the red cornet fish, this one here, is also known as the Akayagara, or the red arrow shaft, or sometimes the tepo, or rifle fish. 
I see the blue spotted cornet fish here around Florida occasionally while diving. Now there's a new addition to the temple thanks to us finding that bracelet. It's indeed a beluga whale, also known as the sea canary because they're typically very chirpy. They're a fair bit bigger in real life than in game, though. Cetaceans in game seem to be suffering from a deal of shrinkage, or it's just a juvenile for some reason. Same thing, really. Their scientific name refers to their lack of a dorsal fin. They're typically found in cold waters, cold enough that they're hunted as a staple food by the Eskimo. Of course, when I think of beluga whales, one thing comes to mind. Sorry about that, I, I fell into some sort of mariachi fugue. Not sure what happened with that. We'll be learning a bit more in-depth information about the beluga whale in Endless Ocean 2. Maybe. Probably. In any case, the beluga here is going to be the second buddy we're going to befriend in this game. Finally. Which does mean another trip down here to get more information off of him. Groan... See, he agrees too. Oh well, time to see how our curse is doing. Wondered new spooky things we get in the email. Some kind of spider hair, maybe. Uh, anyway, we have one piece left of our creepy statue. And who knows what will happen after that. Maybe the boat will catch fire. Maybe Catherine will catch fire. Maybe Skippy will catch fire. Maybe Red will catch fire. It remains to be seen. This isn't your only warning that you've given us. We've gotten multiple warnings now. Are there multiple people emailing us? Is the entire cult getting in on the warning of us thing? Is that what's going on here? Do they have a mailing list? Do they subscribe us to their mailing list? What is going on?
Well, thank you for the hair, mysterious cult man. Too bad we're gonna get the last piece anyways. And it should be right around here somewheres. We have no idea what will happen when we do find this. Presumably bad things. We've been getting a lot of spooky ghost messages and ghost emails warning us of doing this. But still, we push ahead because... We get hair out of it. And there she is. The final piece of the deity idol. What will happen when we complete the idol? What will happen? Oh, Catherine, you're afraid of the sea. I, I don't take your fears very seriously at all. At least you know it. So, it's a Paleolithic outsider god. Is it Nyarlethotep? Is something Lovecraft going on or what? What an odd looking figurine. What is this? figurine doing on my boat? Mm-hmm. Mm, what? Silver sheets? Do the sheets have to be colored silver, or are they actually made of silver? D does it matter? Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we got the white hair. Welp. Thanks for the hair before you succumbed. That hair. Th that hair. True rock star hair, my god. The best hair. My god. Truly, this was worth resurrecting an ancient evil onto this world for. So, good job, team. We did good. I wonder what the true nature of that dark god was. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. Dark God statue. Okay. Um, where where did you find this? The the Moia Atoll. All right. Um, this god is clearly another god that moved into this region after other gods, and that's why it's dark. Um, the the dark god Yosoka that moved here to the Moia Atoll, and then they fought. Yosoka and the Moia Atoll God, and and um the Yo Yosoka won, and that's why there's a statue, and that's how Yosoka got to the Moia Atoll. I I've mentioned I'm a wizardologist and not a not a godologist, right? 
You know, guys, I think he may have made that up. There were some tidbits in there that seemed somewhat suspect. But anyways, when I was in the cabin, you may have noticed that I advanced the clock twice to make it move ahead a day. There is an important reason for this, and it's that you can only get data from a fish once per in-game day. Which is stupid, but... It's just how it is. And we need two data points from our dolphin friend here before he will come and visit us on our boat. Yep, that's two datas. And that's really all we need. Oddly enough, his description there did say that he, they're roughly 16 feet long. This fucker does not look 16 feet long at all. He's like 8 feet tops. That's half size. That That's fucking bullshit. That's what that is. Yeah, that, that was Skippy right there. Anyways, when you befriend a dolphin, they come and visit you at your boat. Just go down your ladder, say hi, and look at my fucking awesome hair. And there he is, our new beluga friend. With hair like this, how can he not? And yes, we are going to make him our new partner. Ah, Beluga name. A beluga name. Hmm. Hmm, what to name our Beluga friend? Can't decide! Too much stress uh, I'll just name him Horatio cuz that's a good name except I won't do it all caps because that's fucking stupid and I don't even know why I started doing that The Wii is not very good for typing, folks. Just throwing that out there. My WPM here is horrible. So we've got our new partner, Horatio. Time to make him do some tricks. All the tricks. All of them. An interesting thing is that when you have one of your partners do tricks, all of your partners will do them along with him. You won't get any stats off of them, but they will be there tricking themselves out. And I suppose Horatio is a fair bit bigger than Skippy. I don't know if he's 16 feet big. He looks bigger here than he does underwater in any case. He certainly doesn't look like three times our size. Yeah, he's like... 10, 12 feet tops, I think. There's no way he's 16 feet. Good hustle, guys. Good hustle. And that's it for this update. Next time, we're going to go and place those buoys for Catherine so we can find her whale god whale. Also, we're going to die from our curse. See you then.